Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today, we're going to fix your Vanguard and Warzone. If you're getting that annoying, pesky error, you know what I'm talking about. It started about the, on the 14th after the update. A lot of people started getting it, or maybe you've been getting it for a while, having trouble launching the game on PC. We're going to fix it right now. As usual, no BS, no fluff. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Do you know what I'm talking about? This guy. An error has occurred while launching the game. Please check for update, scan, or repair to fix the issue. Uh-huh. What you want to do to fix this nice and quick, go into your Warzone or Vanguard, whatever you're having the issue with. Let's just say, let's take Vanguard. Uh, you want to go into the game settings. You want to see where you have it installed? I have mine on my E drive, E Call of Duty Vanguard. We're going to go to my computer here. I have a Windows 7 skin. Don't worry about that. Just go to this PC. Go to the drive that you have it installed. You can see I have, say, Call of Duty Vanguard here. What you actually want to do is just go ahead and right click, create new folder inside of where you have the game installed, you know, outside of there, uh, rather than inside. I'm just going to call this uh, Battle.net or whatever, right? It doesn't really matter. What you want to do so you don't get a big um, download or transfer time between it is just right click it and cut it. Go down here to Battle.net and paste it in there. And what you want to do now is close this out, close that. When you go to Play Vanguard, it's going to say, I can't find the game. What you want to say, is it already installed? Yes, say locate the game. Go to where you actually had it. I'm going to go to E Drive, Battle.net. Call of Duty Vanguard, right? There it is. So I'm just going to say select that Vanguard main folder. And then it's going to do a couple updates. It's going to do a quick update there where it updates some of the configuration files or something that got corrupted during the update. You're going to hit play. And then the error is going to be gone. The game is going to boot up perfectly. And you're going to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. All the main settings have reset with the firewall and the shaders might do a quick reinstall and it'll refresh your game. There's something that that trick does where it refreshes it. It'll refetch all the story info. Boom. And you're back inside the game and everything runs absolutely perfect. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if this video helped you out. I'm Drake Array, and I'll see you next time.